Hi Pisces, I hope you're all well. So we'll be doing your love reading here for April 2022. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Aries, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Your person's sign, it's energy we're looking at. So their thoughts when it comes to you. We have the lovers in reverse. This is a breakup, a separation. A fallout. Four of Wands, yeah, separation here. This can be an ex I'm picking up on. Or someone who just failed to make a decision when it came to you. Two of Wands. They were leaving you hanging. Some of them had a decision between two people. They could have been non-committal. That is what I'm getting. How they'll be viewing you, we have Knight of Wands. Well, they're very physically attracted to you. Ace of Wands, yeah. Um, <laughs> they feel like you get it. You get a lot of attention. You're very popular. You could be playing the field. That is how they're seeing you. And they keep an eye on you to see who else you're dealing with. There's a little bit of jealousy coming through in this person's energy. Like, who else are you dealing with? But yeah, more so a lot of chemistry here this person feels with you. How you're viewing them, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You could be viewing them as someone who's not investing their time and energy into this connection, but a lot of you may feel this person's a waste of your time. They wasted your time in the past. Why is Pisces viewing this person as the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Some of you felt this person scatters their energy. They were giving to more than just you. They were playing, yeah, they were keeping their options open. You could have met this person online. It may have been, it may have felt like a one-sided connection. Seven of Swords. There is no equal give and take. This person wasn't committing. Higher fit in reverse. A very independent energy. Can also be an energy that acts single even within a relationship. How they're feeling about you or will be feeling about you in April. We have Empress Upright Emperor in reverse. See, there's a lot of physical attraction here. This person thinks you're a perfect 10 physically. They do care about you. And there's memories here. If this is someone from your past. Some of you may even have a child with them. Why is Empress here for how this person will be feeling about Pisces? Devil in reverse. Tower. Yeah, that, it keeps talking about a sudden ending separation here. Perhaps because it, there is something toxic about this situation. Third party, right? Or just toxic behavior. And you're someone who knows your worth. Why is the Emperor in reverse here? Why is Emperor in reverse here for how this person will be feeling about Pisces? They're not on your level and they know that. They know that. Nine of Wands in reverse judgment. Yeah, they're deciding to hold back and not express emotion to you. They're feeling burnt out. Like they can't... They feel like they can't give you what you deserve is what I'm getting with Emperor in reverse. Because in their intentions, I have Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're not coming together here with you. A part of them is still holding on to you energetically, but they don't have much faith. They're feeling emotionally burnt out is what I'm getting. In their actions, we have Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They're not moving forward because they feel it's not the right time. They feel there's bad luck surrounding the situation or just bad timing, external factors getting in the way. Eight of Pentacles, some of you, it can have something to do with their work, their finances. But this is someone who's... Wheel of Fortune. Why is Wheel of Fortune in reverse here? For what action this person will be taking towards Pisces, April. Six of Cups, they miss you. 
but they feel that you may reject their offer here if they were to express anything. There's a fear of rejection. This person's a bit insecure. They're shy. They want to communicate with you, but they're stalling. Something about bad timing is coming through or they're just nervous to approach you in the first place. How you'll be feeling, we have Tower Queen of Cups. You're very moody. Um, I don't like this because you're a water sign, Queen of Cups in reverse. So you'll be feeling all sorts of way, ways, but this person, the situation throws you off balance here. You may be avoiding them with the Tower in reverse. Why is Tower in reverse for how Pisces will be feeling? Queen of Wands. We have two queens here. Some of you may be avoiding them because of another person and another energy. And others of you, it's just you know your worth here, right? And you're putting yourself first. And this person was feeling, yeah, look at that, Emperor Strength. A very confident energy. We like that. Guys, you may choose to end this. You're dropping the situation. And you're coming through as someone who's emotionally unavailable or you're not expressing emotion to this person. Why is Queen of Cups in reverse here? Three of Cups. Some of you, it can be a new person you're getting to know. So you're wanting to observe them or get to know them better. If you are um, dating, right, you're putting yourself out there. I do see opportunities to meet new people and date, definitely. I think you have more than one option for a lot of you because you're coming through as Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. But you're someone who also has strong boundaries. You're not going to pour your heart here, everything into just about anyone. You've learned your lessons here, especially from whatever this breakup was. Yeah, so your outcome, Two of Pentacles. Let's clarify this. Why is Two of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces outcome? Whoops. Yeah, you're not moving things forward. You're dropping this. Some of you feel this person's a liar. Some of it can be a same-sex relationship, but it doesn't have to be. I think you're just looking at Especially if this person was a liar, they were deceptive. You're aware of that. And that is the reason you're not moving towards this person. It's pretty straightforward. King of Pentacles. Some of you are getting to know a new energy. Someone who's more stable on your level. And they're wanting to send you a message. King of Pentacles energy. And others of you could be embodying this King of Pentacles energy where you're very much focused on your business, your finances, but your money's looking very well here. You're very stable, you know what you have to offer, and you're willing to wait for the right person. In this person's outcome, we have nine of pentacles. Well, they're single, they're independent, working on themselves and healing from this situation, and they're keeping their options open. They're sort of carefree when it comes to dating. Ready to explore, meet new people. They're open to new possibilities is what is coming through in their outcome. So single and playing the field. Now whether they're in a commitment or not, I'm not sure. Right? But a lot of you, what is coming through is someone who's non-committal and keeping their options open. Let's get you this love fortune teller. Yeah, some of you love triangle. There's other people involved. But we also have two plus one, three, which can just be dating, right? Casual dating. Yeah, dishonest can't be trusted. The truth will be revealed. Some of you, the re I don't feel this, but it can be. You can make the first move. They could be waiting on you to initiate. I don't see you doing that. If they are waiting on you, they'll keep waiting. Yeah, new love will find you because you deserve better. You deserve stability, King of Pentacles. You're not on the same page with this energy. Finance is affecting your love life. Yeah. 
I see you very business focused here. Some of you may be diverting your attention away from your love life to your work, and just your day to day. False promises. Isolated and alone. This can be a mutual energy. I don't know who's isolated and alone, but I know you've removed yourself from this situation. We also have asking you out on a date and reaching a compromise. A lot of you, I don't feel it's with this person. I don't think it's past. I think this may be a new love entering, right? Where they'll be willing to compromise. Because in this person's feelings, we had emperor in reverse. Usually not the most flexible energy, right? But there's someone that you will be getting to know and going on a date with. And a lot of you, it's someone new. It's beautiful. You make me feel happy and complete. Your presence soothes me. So this person is saying you excite them. You make them very happy. They're still wanting to speak to you in their actions, but they're scared. Whoa. Let's get you two more. I'm afraid of being played and being taken advantage of by you. Please be careful with my heart. That's more likely um, for one, I'm feeling that is your energy, but also a new person that you're attracting may be afraid of being played. I'm feeling hopeful about us. I have awakened to our connection. There's someone here. Yeah. I've called you so many times but hung up before it rang. I get so nervous. That's that page of cups energy I was telling you about. That shyness. It hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. I'm suffering in silence. This isolated and alone suffering in silence is the energy you're moving on from. They're holding on to memories of you. How you made them feel. How you made them feel in the past. That is what they're holding on to. I don't feel good enough for you. Wasn't I telling you this person feels like they can't give you what you deserve? I don't feel good enough for you. You can do so much better. And yet you are here loving me. Some of you were very kind, generous with this person, with Empress. It's a very nurturing energy. Did this person ghost you and now they have regrets? I'm heartbroken. I didn't realize I would break my own heart by leaving you. I want to reconcile. Please forgive me. The only reason this person's holding back is because they're afraid of rejection. What advice do you have for Pisces? Happiness. Oh, I've never seen this card before. We have positive energy is flowing around you and within you. Stay optimistic. There's a lot of good coming your way. Ooh. Yeah, and that good is that you'll have your pick here. Uh, six of Wands, Seven of Cups. This happiness is when it comes to your love life. A lot of doors opening up for you. New possibilities. They're saying don't focus your attention on just one energy, right? Don't limit yourself. Get to know new people. Go on dates. Um, have fun. Enjoy life. You will have stability and you will meet someone that has potential to be the one with six of wands. But they're wanting you to enjoy the attention you're getting right now. They're wanting you to just date. Have fun. Wow. You won't. <laughs> Seriously, if you don't have any options right now, Pisces. Um, this will change. You need to make yourself available and put yourself out there in whatever way you can. And you will have your pick. You will have to choose. You won't be the one that's waiting on for someone to choose you, right? The tables are turning. You're in the driver's seat. So there, yes, you will meet frogs along the way, but you will have to filter through these options, right? 
but yes, a lot of success, recognition coming your way. Um, also with happiness uh, and 6017, this can be if you're doing something on social media online, it definitely can be recognition uh, when it comes to finances as well, if that is what you're wanting, right? But something that'll make you very happy. A lot of you, this does have to do with your love life, but really depends. Yes, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.